What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys part 9 for my playthrough on Pokemon Legends Arceus for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in the last episode, we made our way to the Coronet Highlands and we started completing the main story. And in today's video, we're going to be finishing up the Coronet Highlands, defeating another noble Pokemon, and more importantly, moving on to the fifth and final region in this game. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. But before we actually get started here, I want to move around my party because as you guys know first of all look at the magic carps they're hilarious <laughs> they are so funny yo look at their little sprites they crack me up but as you guys know in the last episode before we ended off we caught a bunch of hisuian voltorbs and you know i want them on the team you know i want them on the team so we're gonna be picking one of them out and moving them to their team it really depends on their nature so let's go check out the boys here let's go check out the boys this one's okay special i'm kind of with this one a rash nature we get that special attack boost this thing is a special attack in pokemon but let's see if we have anything better we can go down this one we're, we're not using this one. That one's out of the picture. This one, he's neutral, so he ain't bad. He's not a bad choice. We might go with that one. Um, let's go to our other ones. Where are my other boys at? Where are my other Boltorbs at? I have three more. Here's one. And this one, no. We're definitely not using that one with the my special attack. Definitely not using that one. And definitely not using that one. So I think we're going to use the first one. I think we're going to have just a, an amazing special attack here. Because this one has lovely, lovely, lovely special attacking stats. So we're going to be throwing him in there. And he has a great moveset right now. Spark, Energy Ball, Thunderbolt, and Thunder. Come on, yo. That's looking real good. That's looking real good. But we also evolved our Basculin and Basculin Legion, who looks phenomenal. Who else did we do? We did Gumi to Sligo, and we caught this little booger. So look at my dudes. They're all hanging out here, having a good time. But yo, Basculin Legion looking fire. He looking fire. But let's get moving on here. Let's go defeat, what is it, our fourth Noble Pokemon? I think it's our fourth, yeah. So we defeated Arcanine already. We did Cleavor, and we did, who was the other one? Lilligan, and we did Lilligan, so let's hop over here. Let's go defeat the chick. She might want to battle us. Yeah, she wants to battle us. We got to battle her, and then we can go into the arena and defeat our next noble Pokemon, who is such a cool Pokemon. Cannot actually fit, wait to face off in that battle because the battle is really cool. The battle is really cool, but yo, if you guys want to catch more content from me and you're not followed to my Twitch page yet, get on top of that. Name is right on this layout, Jeans25 on Twitch, and link is down in the description below. Go hit that follow button, turn on notifications so you know when I go live. So you know when I go live. Oh, but we're not even battling check. We're getting straight into the battle. I thought we had like a, a battle with her. But look at the street. A bunch of Hisuian Boltovers fall out of it. Give us the death there. And then the big old daddy falls out. Yep, this is the fourth noble Pokemon that we got to face off with. Hisuian Electrode. He is sick. He is such a sick Pokemon. Look at my dude. Turns all gold. He's ready to get after it. He's ready to get after it. But yo, this boss battle, a little tough if you do not know what you're doing. At first, he'll start slapping up on you. But... What you gotta do is he's gonna throw these little electric balls at you, and then he's gonna shake around and drop a bunch of little electro bombs. Yeah, look at them. They're just a bunch of electrodes using self destruct. So you gotta run around from that ball, maybe throw a few bombs at him at the meantime, and he's just gonna do this jump. We just gotta dodge out the way and get going from there. But if you take time to actually like throw a bomb like that, sometimes when those things are too close, they will hit you. But other than that, this battle's really not that hard. You just kind of keep throwing bombs at him, keep dodging him, and keep going this way. And then he's going to throw another ball at you, and you're just going to get on the move. You are just going to keep moving. So, it's kind of a more so slow... Oh, dang it. It's kind of a more so of a slow battle. Oh my god, I'm getting ripped. I'm getting ripped! It's kind of more so a slow battle. So, if you kind of take it slow, you should be fine with it. Hopefully, we'll be fine with it. We did actually take a lot of damage early on here. And I don't think you regenerate uh, health in these battles. I really don't think you do. So if you keep running around, he's just going to eventually shoot that and then do like a big jump. And then we can roll out and dodge and get moving from there. And then he does this little spark thing right here. And after he does the spark thing, you can actually switch to the Pokemon that you want to use to face off against it. In this instance, I'm going to use Cleaver. And then he's going to go down and then you can battle it, which is pretty cool. So look at that. He does like a huge little discharge and then he's like, he's out. Of it. He's out. Of it. So we're going to bring out our Cleaver. And I think Cleaver is a great choice for us because Bug should be super effective and Cleaver can hit like a truck. And of course, this thing outspeeds. This thing's outspeed me, so it's doing absolute work. So from here, I can actually use a Typhlosion. Oh, we have... Oh, I didn't change it to X-Scissor. I thought we would have X-Scissor. I probably should have changed my moves on these guys, but we'll use Silver Wind for now. How much damage are we going to do with this? Take it out one shot, please. Oh, my lord. What HP? This dude's holding the Focus Ash. This dude is holding the Focus Ash, but we could honestly just use our Typhlosion here, and Typhlosion could just rip into it because, you know, Typhlosion's super, super fast, and he hits harder than that uh, than that Cleaver with Flamethrower. So I'm loving it. Let's pop him in here. My boy Typhlosion out and about. We'll drop down a flamethrower, and we'll just take this thing out, no problem. So later. And then obviously from here, we can just throw a ton of different bombs at him. We don't play games here. We don't play games here. So we should be able to take it down, uh, getting it close to half. We know we'll definitely get the one-fourth onto it. There's the one-fourth, and he's going to start doing his uh, 
his little thing. So it's just a rinse repeat cycle. Just run around, dodge, make sure you guys are uh, dodging everything. Throw a few bombs when that ball isn't close enough. You can get off a few. And then you kind of just roll off from there. And then he's going to throw out two. He's going to do a little jump. And then you're kind of just waiting for him to use that discharge thing. He's going to drop more electrodes to drop bombs on you. You just got to keep running around, dodge them. And if you run around in like a decently like curved path, you should be fine with uh, just like not getting hit by them. And ooh, yo, that ball's coming close. Chill on me. But you also want to keep your distance a little bit more than usual because we know he's going to use that discharge move. So if you can keep your distance from him, you should be fine with it. So let's see what he does here. We can actually throw a bomb. We got time. Hit him with that. He's going to throw another electric ball. And here he goes for the discharge move. He's going to hop. And he's going to do that. So if you just keep moving, you can eventually roll out of it once he stops and he's about to use it. Because it will get bigger as the uh, battle goes on. But we're just going to run around here. Wait for him to use it. Switch to our Typhlosion. And wait for it. And now we can throw in the battle and get some damage off on him. And I think if you have a Typhlosion or a stronger Cleavor or Cleavor with x Scissor, you could honestly just go into... Oh, this thing has speed. That's pretty nutty. You can honestly just go into a strong style X scissor and take this thing out with one shot, no problem. But from here, we're just gonna use a strong style flamethrower. This is taken out, no problem. And then I might want to heal up my Typhlosion in case I want to take this thing out again. But this thing's gonna drop down. I'm just gonna get up close to personal. We're gonna get after it with these bombs, yo. Hitting it up, yes sir. Chipping the damage, the big old damage. Look at that. Got it down past half, and we are doing some work on it. But like I said, I want to go actually heal up my boy right now. We might as well. Typhlosion's ripping through on this thing, and that's plenty of health. That is plenty of health. Let's sit back. I think we just gotta take it out like one more time. But this time he sends these green balls. And I don't really know what the green balls do. I think they travel a bit faster. So it, in this instance, we just cannot throw a bomb. We just have to keep running around and just let him run his course on his attacks. So yeah, he has quicker ones. So we're just gonna keep dodging, keep running around. Yo, this battle's pretty solid. I'm loving it. He's dropping more electrodes. I think in this instance, when you get him past half health, he drops the green balls. His discharge will get bigger and he'll drop electrodes that will explode faster. Did he drop three of these? Oh my lord. This dude's coming after me. Chill on me, man. Let me run. And yeah, I'm pretty sure in boss battles, your health does not regenerate. So, kind of tough that we took some damage early on. And this guy's going to do his jump, and we're going to have to get running. Because look at that. Look at that distance here. We're going to be in it, but when he stops to kind of use it, we have to roll out of here. So, he's going to He's about to send it soon. Roll out. Bang. And there we go. We're fine with that. We're going to switch back to our Typhlosion. And now we can battle again and get after him. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, so the last discharge gets bigger when he's past half health. And like I said, wait for that thing to stop for a split second, and then you're able to roll out and be chilling with it. So he's going to use Thunder. Do not paralyze me. <gasps> oh, no. Okay, we still get to go. Let's go for a strong style. Strong style. Connect. Do not be paralyzed. Oh, my Lord. Come on, man. What you mean? Yo, get out my face. Dude, everything goes wrong for me. I swear. Everything goes wrong for me. Uh, who can we bring out from here? We do have Sligu with Acid Spray. You know what, Sligu? Get on in there, dude. Sligu, get some work done. But, dude, that's so whack. I'm sitting there. I'm like, dude, we're fine as long as that doesn't happen. We could go for Acid Spray. I will go for an Agile shot here. Just try to get off a of Poison and to get the turns in our favor. But we'll use this. We'll, how much damage are we really doing? That's not bad, yo. Sligu's defensive stats are also lower, so we might be able to take it out next shot. Thunder, we're able to soak up, yo. My boy is amazing with your soaking up shots. Uh, we might have to go for an Agile style again. We will. We'll go for an Agile style just so we can go again next turn. Because this thing just totally outspeeds us. So we're going to do some big damage there. And a strong style might have been able to take that out. Defense stats were lowered. He goes for another Thunder. And we dodge it. That is lovely. So from here, we can go for another Acid Spray. We should be fine with not even facing off with this Pokemon one more time. We should just be able to hit it with a bunch of bombs and finish the battle off. Let's see. I don't know. We might have to, we might, might have to face off with it one more time. E yeah, we're going to have to face off with it one more time. But yo, let me heal up my Pokemon. Where's my revives at? Of course he gets to Paralyze on me. That was whack, yo. I'm sitting there fine. I'm actually going to revive my Cleavor here, too. Because just to get some XP with him. Because everybody loves some XP. And now, where is my lovely little potions? We'll give him two of these. I actually should change him to, uh... Two what's it called? Super potions. But it's all good. Alright, let's get a move on. E! We almost, just, we almost just lost there. But, yeah, we cannot stop to throw any bombs here. Because the Pokeballs are moving so fast, we legit can't do anything with it. Oh, my lord. Chill on me! Leave me alone! <laughs> Leave me alone. Dude, this dude is on me. But I feel like the battles in this game get harder and harder and more fun and more fun every single time. So I'm actually really liking this battle. Like, we can't stop and just throw a bunch of bombs at him like we've normally been doing. With the Noble Pokemon, we actually have to, like, go through his fighting phases and deal with it. So that's pretty cool. So we're just going to keep running around here. Come on, man. Slow up, man. He's going to throw... Oh, dude, he's throwing a yellow one out. I don't know the difference between the yellow ones. And here it comes with this little discharge thing. We're just going to keep moving. And we're just going to legit wait for him to stop for a split second and just roll out of there. We're going to wait for it. Wait for it. There's the stop. Let's roll. Let's dip out. 
and we can switch to our Typhlosion, and this match is over with. As long as we don't get paralyzed again, because you know, that kind of screwed us over this time. Definitely screwed us over, but yeah, this Electrode is fine. He's going to use Thunder again, probably. And does he miss? Yes, sir. That's GG's. Typhlosion, rip through him. Let's go for a Flamethrower. Strong Silent, so we can guarantee us taking him out in one shot, and then it's no problem. Laser him up. And it's GG's. The bombs should be able to, uh, or we should have enough time to actually uh, take this thing out with bombs and finish off the next Noble Pokemon. Let's go. Yeah, that's a solid battle. We were taking a lot of damage early on in the uh, in the battle because I was just trying to showcase it for you guys. But right after that, we did not take another hit. Final bomb comes through. Yeah, eh? toss it on him. And yo, Electrode is so sick. I cannot wait to evolve our Voltorb into Electrode. And if you guys were wondering how to do that, you just need to leave some. You can either find them in the distortion zones or you can buy them with MP from the merchant in your. Uh, uh, what is it? The Battlegrounds in Jubilee City. Which is really, really cool. But there it is. That's exactly why I revived Cleaver. Look at that XP. 4,800 for some of them. Come on, yo. 4,000 plus for everybody. Yeah, I love it. There's my boy. Look how small he is now. He rolls over to us. He's like, howdy. How you doing? <laughs> yo, I love how Voltorbs and Electrodes move. They just do like a little roll. It is hilarious. It is so funny. Look at him. He's like, I'm out of here, yo. Have a good day. Just dips out here. But there it is. That is the end of Mount coronet or not mount coronet the coronet highlands which i absolutely love this area we're probably gonna uh, traverse through it a little bit more because we do need some star ranking points to actually make our way to the next area which is going to be the alabaster ice lands i think i think it's called that it's the ice land area which is super super cool one of my favorite areas so next episode is going to be an absolute banger but for now like i said we just gonna need some star rank so i think we're just gonna float around catch a bunch of new pokemon and continue on with the main story just make sure in the next episode you know we can actually uh go to a brand new area so we do have to traverse this land a little bit more, which is exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to catch a bunch of new Pokemon. We still haven't caught a Bronzong, so I definitely want to go over there. There's tons of Bronzongs floating around here. There's a few Wisp, and there's a really cool Pokemon that you can actually catch it, uh, at nighttime here. So let's get on with it. Yo, guys, get out my face. I'm trying to move on with the main story, bring content to my viewers. <laughs> they don't want to see you guys chit-chatting around. But yo, there's a Wisp up there. Look up in the top left. Pretty cool. But my boy Ingo, he's like, yo, go back to Jubilife, go report with your commander. Blah, blah, blah. We already know the deal. But I actually have to check my star ranking and see how many points I need to actually get it. So let's see. So we have to go report back there. We're getting some stuff for Typhlosion. And let me check. Where's that exit at? Right here. Let me check my... Would it be under my Pokedex? Wow, we need 2,100. But task unreported, 82. Wow, 82 unreported tasks. That's a lot. That is a lot. And did she heal my Pokemon? I mean, we can sleep right here. There should be a camp. No, there's not a camp yet. Camp is not set up just yet. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. In the meantime, we can just kind of go catch some new Pokemon and get some new stuff for XP and all that good stuff. But yeah, we are definitely going to want to be uh, get a lot of points today. But let me see the areas that I haven't checked out yet. Okay, so there's a few. We have to go up here. Actually, up here, that's a stone portal. And what's this? A stone portal again. So that's the newer area. That's like post-game area. We could head all the way down to Celestic Ruins and traverse through this area right here, which I'm really with doing. Now I'm with doing all day. And like I, I said this in the last episode, if you come over here at nighttime, a Rotom can actually spawn, which is really, really cool. Right around where these Luxios are at. I think it's a rare spawn, so it can spawn there, which is really, really cool. Which is really, really cool. We got more Voltorbs. I could KO them if I want. And let me actually see if I have Voltorb maxed out. Actually, we didn't even hand in our stuff, so I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm not even going to catch any more of them. I could actually defeat a few for XP. But you know what? This guy's dead. We're killing this one. We'll defeat a few, try to get some XP for a squad, and more importantly, finish that out on the Pokedex. And this thing outspeeds me. Oh, these things cook. These things are so good. They're really, really good. And of course, my Pokemon were not healed up. That's totally fine. My boy's going to rip through. And the funny thing is, like, we have a uh, level 50 Basket Legion, and we are not allowed to use it. Well, we're allowed to use it, but I don't want to level it up like crazy, you know? It's just not the move. It is just not the move. But let's get moving on here. Oh, I didn't pick up that. Oh, my satchel's too Oh, yo, he's using self- What you mean? I think just use self-destruct on me. Yo, chill on me. Let me switch to my deer. Let me bounce out of here. You guys have yourselves a good day, all right? You guys have yourselves a good day. <laughs> I'm just not dealing with it. Oh, dude, we almost died to fall damage. We almost just died to fall damage. We almost just died to fall damage, and I do want to catch a few of these dudes. Catch his nose past his back turn. Get some more for a Pokedex. Pseudo Wudo, get on over here. I'll actually throw a little berry to you. You have a little hoppo berry. Oh, his back's already turned to us. What am I doing? What am I doing? Let me do a little spin move over here. Loop around this way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Poke him in the back, and we'll keep moving on here. Like I said, there's going to be a few new Pokemon that we have to catch. And, of course, that Pseudo Wudo pops out. 
that buttery biscuit. And you know what? We'll give Electro a little bit of love here. Because Electro could definitely just tee off on this dude here. This little nose pass. Nose pass is sick, dude. He's so sick. We use energy ball on him. And energy ball should be able to take him out no problem, right? He's one level ahead of us, but Electro hits like a truck, dude. He's really, really good. He definitely has high special attack, which is amazing. It really is amazing. But there we go. Catch that Pokemon. Complete another task for it. And that's what we're doing. Yo. We have 82 unreported tasks. So I wonder how many points we are actually going to get when we cash in all of these uh, points here. The Slug is level 42. Star Ravio, we could evolve, but we're not even using it on the team. She's just our last filler. But our team's looking really good. We got everybody except for one Pokemon, which I really, really like. And I kind of want to catch this Ghastly. I feel like we don't catch a lot of Ghastly. So come here, Ghastly. Let me tell Where are you going? Where are you going, dude? There you are. There you go. Happy birthday. Catch him up there, and we'll get moving on. You better stay in that Pokeball. Thank you very much. Can we catch one more to complete another task? You know, who, yo, what is going on? These dudes just dropping rock slides on me. No problem. No problem. But let's hop back on the deer. Let's get rolling here. Oh, we don't have enough space in our satchel. And there is an alpha gap. Can I catch this thing yet? I'm curious. I'm curious if I can catch this thing yet. We cannot. Because if you look at the, the, the top of his head, he has an X on it. We can probably catch this lovely... Lovely Gibble over here. Who I would love to catch. Gibble, turn around for me. Actually, here you go. Have a, have a peanut berry. Are you kidding me? Do not see me. Oh, you come on, man. What you mean? Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Can I fight you, Gibble? <laughs> Look at this Gibble run there. We already have a Gibble. I would love to catch another one. I would love to catch another. <laughs> come here. Me and you. Mono we mono. Let's run it. Run it up. This Gibble's using like boulders on me. Level 21. I should just be able to throw a Pokeball at him, right? No, I do not want to run away. I should just be able to, I have great balls. I'm just going to throw a great ball at him. You know, the more Pokemon we catch, the merrier. The more points we're going to get. Like I said, I want to traverse through land, and then we might head back to, like, a place like the Crimson Mirelands or the, uh, what's the other one? The beachy area. I totally forget. The Coastland. Cabolt Coastland. Either or, and, uh, keep complete the Pokedex. But there is a few Pokemon that we do want to catch in this area. I'll show you guys a cool one. Ooh, yo, another Gibble. I do have to catch another Gibble for a task, so. Give me my Pokeballs. Come here, Gibble. The Gibble's honestly adorable. I ain't gonna lie. You little pudgy dragon. Little sand shark. Oh, come on, dude. Why you gotta see me? These dudes see me from a mile away. They see me from a mile away. But let me fix my microphone. Give you guys some better, better jeans mic quality. So we're just gonna pop back into our items. Go down to our great balls. Throw another one. No problem. No problem. There's a good thing about catching these Pokemon, too, is it gives us levels. And, you know, levels are awesome because... It doesn't hold us back in the story by us losing or being under level. Right now, we're on, like, same level. But I know post-game stuff, you definitely need to grind some levels. You definitely need to grind some levels. But there is a Haunter. And I really do want them. I really do want you. So come here, little booger. First off, we want these berries because, you know, berries is where it's at. And Haunter, I know you don't see me. I know you don't see me. Come here, dude. Stay still. Stay. Stay still. Uh, what kind of berries you want? We got some orange berries for him. Do I have no orange berries? Oh, I do. I was going to say. How could I have no orange berries? Everybody has like 85 million orange berries because that's like the most prominent tree all across the land. And we eat up. Nom nom nom. Yo, later. Getting that Pokeball. We're getting this grass though. Yes, sir. He stays in there. We can actually catch another one and complete another Pokedex entry, which is amazing. Amazing. Where's my orange berries at? Haunter, I know you want that. Eat up, dude. Yeah, eat up, dude. Eat up. Turn around. You're not going to see me. Yeah, you turn the other way. Munch, 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 munch. We'll hit him with a back shot as well. Bop, back shot. And I am going to actually bring out Electrode and get this uh, Sky Tumblestone. Please stay in there. Thank you very much. We are going to open up this Sky Tumblestone and we'll defeat what other Pokemon's in there. Oh, it's a Gibble! It's a Gib! I didn't even know Gibbles can uh, chill in there. We'll go for an Energy Ball and can just take it out one shot. He's level 21. Come on, Voltorb. That's what I thought. Good work, Voltorb. Love you. I love you. I love you. But let's go over here with our deer. And if you actually come over here at nighttime, this rock right here. Oh, you look, I can show it to you guys right now. Do I have any feather balls? I don't think I do. But if you have feather balls, you can actually catch this Magnuson right here. Really, really cool Pokemon. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. So if you guys got time on your hands and looking for Magnuson, pull them out there and do it that way. Oh, yo, let's do a time distortion. Let's do it. We can get some mean levels and some new Pokemon. Where is the time distortion at? Time distortion forming over here. I say we do it. Let's do it, yo. That's actually great for us. I don't think we did a time distortion on this uh in this playthrough yet. So if you guys do not know what the time distortions are, they're little areas that spawn crazy good items and rare Pokemon. So rare Pokemon can spawn. The starters can actually spawn too, but that's only post game. That's only post game. So before you you go there, you actually want to clear out some inventory so you have space to pick up other stuff so you get more 
more items to hold. So I'm gonna drop a bunch of stuff. Uh, what else should we drop? The soot foot root can go. Um, this patch of berry, we're really not gonna use it. What else? This thingy mo bibber. This thingy mo bibber. Dire shroom. We don't really use them. Spoiled apricorns. I absolutely hate those things. <laughs> They're so annoying. We'll get rid of all that, and that should be plenty of space. There's a few extra slots for us to kind of get stuff on here. And what else did I want to do here? I want to go craft a few things. So we'll craft a few Pokeballs. We'll craft some of you. I'll craft 12 more of you. And I'll craft like 10 more of these. 11's fine. It's no big deal. And uh, let's do some potions. That. And let's switch it over to here. And craft 11 of them. Beautiful. And then one more thing I want to do is get some revives up in here. There we go. Revives up in here. We're kind of like out of medicinal leaks, which is kind of whack. But it's all good. I think I already healed up my Pokemon. That is wonderful. Now we can actually head to the time distortion zone. Let's do it. So we're going to travel up to this moon view area. And on the map, you guys can see it. it's right here. Whenever they say there's a distortion zone spawning, it will be on the map. So you go to your map, you look at it real quick, and this tree's shaking. And I kind of want to face off with whatever's in it. So I'm going to throw out my Pokeball here. That force is going to hit up, and it's a Burmy. And it's a Burmy. And the reason I'm hitting these trees uh, sometimes with the Pokemon in it is because you can, what's it called? You can complete some task with them by doing it. So we'll roll out. We'll say see you later. We'll take the XP. We're gone. We are gone. Where are my deer at? Where's my deer at? Me, my dear, and there's the distortion zone. So in order to start it, you lit. Oh, you still have to catch a bronze on. Son of a biscuit, hate this game. No, I should fight it. That'll be good for a Pokedex. Come here, dude. Run it up. Bring it on. <laughs> Bring it on, baby. I start saying that more every time we face up with a Pokemon. Bring it on. <laughs> and of course, this thing avoids our attack. He's gonna. Oh my lord, are we dead? Oh, okay, we dodged his attack. Yeah, we don't play games like that. Let's run this up. Yo, what you mean? Can you can we dodge one of your attacks again? I'm, about, I'm, I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run. We'll get some XP in the distortion zone. Come back here. I'm not dealing with that. Get out of my face, Bronzong. Get out of my face. And yo, there's an Alpha Bronzor over here. Oh, <gasps> it's an Alpha Rotom. I don't think we catch this thing. Yeah, we cannot. Level 65! God dang! God dang. Why do I think it was an Alpha Bronzor? We out of here. Oh, there's Bronzor. How you doing? And there's another Bronzong. Bronzong, do not come on, man. Why you guys spot me? But oh, oh, come on, guy. Bro, Tom sniped me. Chill on me. Let me throw this here. I'm just trying to dodge these attacks, man. Leave me alone. So we are now in this distortion zone, and it will not start up for a little bit. So what you want to do is actually just come in here, do whatever you want for a little bit, and just stand in there for the time given. And then once the time given's done, you will actually uh, the distortion will start by like doing like a cool little animation. And it will start up. So then items will spawn. Rare Pokemon will spawn. It's actually really, really cool. And I do want to KO this Geodude. Come here, Geodude. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, little boy. Let me tell you something. But distortion zones are great for getting uh, rare items. And for getting items that sell for high price. So for getting Poke Dollars is really, really good. What is, what is going on? Why am I missing every single attack? But well, back to what I was saying. It's really good for getting rare items. Getting items that sell high. What is going on? Wait, wait a minute. I got... That's four moves in a row. Okay, cool. I thought my game was glitched for a second. Five missed attacks in a row. Dude, I should buy a lottery ticket because the odds of that happening is nutty. That is nutty. That is really whack. But back to what Jeans was saying. Let him finish his, uh, what he wanted to say. Distortion zones are really, really good for uh, getting rare items to evolve Pokemon. Good items to actually uh, sell for high prices, so for getting Poke Dollars. And it's actually really good to farm, uh, to farm what's it called as well. To farm XP and level up Pokemon. Really, really good. So there's a lot of benefits for doing this. So every time you see distortions, whenever they spawn, I highly recommend going in there and, and doing some work on them. I really do. So this down. Let's just do this. And like I said, you just got to chill in here for a little bit. So what I like to do is kind of just chill in here and collect all the materials that's in the land or in this little area. And we just wait for the distortion to start. And I think it's getting ready to start because the electric is bopping. So we're going to want to have a strong Pokemon ready to go with us. So we're going to use Cleaver or Typhlosion here in this instance. And we're just ready to go. And what I actually like to do is actually go towards grass. So if you see like high grass, I usually like to get in there. But there is no high grass around here. Because Pokemon will spawn. They'll spawn in like batches of three and stuff. It's really, really cool. And, the, and most of the time, they'll see you. So you either want to lure one out if you want a certain one of them, or you can lure it out to fight a certain one of them. Because if not, you're going to be fighting all three of them. And let me actually get my Pokeballs ready. Because most of the time, you don't want to feed any of these Pokemon. You kind of just want to get after them. The distortion is getting ready to start, yo. 
It's getting ready. I'm actually hyped for it. Let me see if I can actually get that with Type Fusion. Can I hit that tree? Dang, that's a heck of a throw. Let's give, me, let's give it some more arc. It's a heck of a throw. It's not close enough. We, maybe we need some less arc. That looks like money. We are hugging these things. Can we, can we get that? I'm trying to get the tree there. And no. I just don't think we have enough moxie in our throw, dude. We do not have it. But yo, start up this distortion zone. I'm trying to get after it, dude. I'm trying to get after it. Spawn up. We could use Bash Collision. This thing's a beast. 260 some HP. And I love it. Let me throw him out here. I can't I can't throw him out here and like hang out with us. Yeah, there he is. Oh, we got him medicinally. Yeah, I just want to throw him out here to hang out with us. Look at him. <laughs> He's just looking up at us. I like how he like looks at us. Like when he turn around if we go this way. Can I touch his tail? Oh, I can spin him around. Look at that. <laughs> how you doing, buddy? How you doing? Dude, he's so sick. Definitely one of the coolest new Pokemons in the game. Definitely, definitely, definitely. But I'm waiting for this distortion to start. Sometimes it takes a little longer. Hey, yo, what's up, dude? How you doing? You know, we'll throw out the whole squad. We'll have a party. We'll have a party. Live it up. What up, boys? What up, dudes? What up, yo, Cleaver, you all right? Cleaver, you all right? Cleaver's not feeling too well. Everyone's looking over here. <laughs> Typhoid looks like an old man. He's been through stuff. He's been through stuff. Yeah, look at us. Eye to eye. That's a sick that's a sick picture. Cleaver, can you wake up? Cleaver, get up. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, we got things to do. We got things to do. You hear me? Where's my boys out? Yeah, Sligo's looking pretty tough. Hi, Sligo. I'll talk to Sligo. Oh, we're talking to Voltorb. He's doing a little dance. And yo, when is this gonna start? I'm just waiting for it. Alright, everybody get back into Pokeballs. I feel in the starting gym. Everybody come back here. <laughs> Everyone come back here and yo, I'm, I'll sit here and wait as long as I can. This might be the longest one I did so far. Just sitting and waiting. Come on, yo. Start the distortion. We're inside of it, right? We are inside of it. I'm waiting for this thing to start, dude. I really want to really showcase this to you guys. It's really cool. Do -do -do -do, do -do -do, do -do -do. Yeah, sometimes they take a little bit. You know, we'll go down here in the meantime. If you do want to fight, I'll fight them all day. We'll go down here. We'll collect our materials. We'll get rolling. So is that the last material I need out here? Beautiful. Beautiful. And what is that? That's a Geodude here. Right, yo, we ain't messing with Geodude. Can this distortion start? There it is. Space-time distortion appeared. Run it up. Run it up. So we got our Pokeballs ready, and Pokemon are just going to spawn and items on the ground. So you can legit run around and get a bunch of these shards, a bunch of cool items, and we're looking for Pokemon to spawn. They're just going to spawn right in front of us. You can't miss them. Really, really cool thing. But look at all these shards that spawn. We got Eevees, Octillaries. Can I catch him on its own? He, of course, he sees me. Like I said, you're gonna want to like lure them out on their own. And, you know, chill on me, chill on me. And we'll definitely see another EV or artillery. So if we dip over this way, we should be fine. Just by collecting all these items. Like, look at these shards. A bunch of shards always want Drapion and Duskops. I would love to catch a Drapion. So let's see if I can lure Drapion over here. Come here, Drapion. Drapion, come here. Oh, and oh, yo, and chill now. I'll catch them both. Run a double battle. Oh, what the? F yo, no way they all pop up at once. I'm out of here. I gotta run. I gotta run. Dude, I go to battle two of them and two other pop up. Like this shard. Come on, yo, Sheldon. Come here. Do not leave me, Sheldon. I, I want Sheldon a lot. I'll, I'll battle both of them at the same time. I wanna catch them both. I wanna catch them both. Hopefully, Sheldon's on the side here. He is. Dope, dope, dope. The so JPN's gonna use Venoshock. Ooh. Not very effective. And you know what? I'm just gonna go here. And I might just catch the Sheldon right off the rip. I am going to catch a Sheldon right off the rip. I really do want it. I did not know Sheldon spawns in these things. Him and Crane do this, if I had to guess now. Awesome, y'all. I was wondering where I could get these dudes. So come on, you'll catch this first try. We're not playing around. Mm. <laughs> Hate this game. Cross poison coming out here, and awesome. He missed. Do I throw another Pokeball, or do I do damage to this guy? Could use Hex. Hopefully, Hex doesn't kill it. Please not kill it. <laughs> no! Sheldon, hopefully another one of them spawns. Oh, did we just get this Fossil? Is that his fossil? Oh, so if you kill him, you get their fossil. That's pretty cool. I'll drop a roll out here. Yo. Dealing some damage. I'll do another one because I got to get this thing uh, down on some HP. Venishot coming out here. Good thing we're versing a Drapion. He can't really do much against us. Well, I'll come out here again, and we should be able to throw a nice little ball after this. We're fixated on roll out. We know that. And he's going to always sword dancing. Chill on me, man. Chill on me. Chill on me. Let's throw a nice little great ball here. I can't believe we killed that Sheldon. I can't believe it. But I think he dropped a fossil. That'd be cool. Maybe we could take it to an area and just create a Sheldon. 
There's a Pokeball catch, please. Can't deal with this game. Can't deal with it. Venishot coming out here. We dodge it. I don't want to hit this thing again because then uh, we're going to kill it. And I do not want to kill it. Unless I use a Hex. Hex is not very effective, so we might be able to eat it up. But I have a feeling we're going to catch it on this Pokeball. Give me a catch here. Give me the Drapion. No! Dude, catch the Drapion. He's going to he's gonna go enraged, and he's going to destroy me here. Look at his stats boost. Hex Scissor comes out here. We dodging. Can I go for an Agile shot? Let me see the turns. Strong. What about Quick Attack? Quick Attack can go for an Agile shot here and get two turns. And the reason I want to do this is to do more damage and then still be able to throw a Pokeball. Even though it did like no damage. We lost his Fever for rollout. We lost our Fever. Now let's throw a Great Ball. Come on, yo, Drapion. Get in this Great Ball. We're wasting our time in the Time Distortion. Catch it. Yes! Awesome, dope. We need another Sheldon, big time. We definitely need another Sheldon. He's going to drop an item, and we got Grithus. Oh, and that's what the other one dropped, too, Grithus. I thought it was the Fossil. So we're going to keep going over here. Oh, AB Palms. How you doing? Uh, you know what? I can actually fight both of y'all. Come here. We'll fight both of y'all. I'll fight them both. I'll kill one, and then I'll, I'll catch the other one. Oh, show. Oh, show. Do not outspeed me. Oh, no. Oh, no. That one goes for double hit. What's the other one doing? He's just looking around. Cool. He's just looking around. We are going to go for a nice little stone actually is probably apply, right? We'll go for a regular one. Stone axe comes through here. How much damage are we doing? Not bad damage. We'd love to see it. So we're definitely taking out one and we'll catch the other one. Or we can try to catch this first one. We should actually try to catch this first one. Considering it's low HP and uh, and they're doing work on me. So this one's going to drop a mud bomb. They're both going to do it. And they're both obscured. So... Probably your best bet is to throw a great ball. Let's catch another. Let's catch another cool Pokemon. Like I said, yo, time distortions rock. Always waste your time in there. Always head over there and catch the Pokemon and do the battles. Cool. First time catch. Now we can just dump on this next Pokemon and take the XP. We'll take it all day. This one's level 40. Oh, we're dead. Drops an Iron Tail on me. Get out of my face. Don't make me bring out Basket Legion on you. That's what I'm going to do. I have to heal up my other squad. My other Pokies in the squad. So we're going to bring out our big dog. Level 51 Basket Legion. Drop a nice little Zen headbutt. Even though we should drop. Oh my! Why are we, why are we like missing attacks today? I get that, that that he was obscured, but we're missing so many different attacks today. Zen headbutt comes through, and we get one some big damage. Wave crash probably would have taken that thing out. Iron tail misses. Thank you, thank you. These guys are now missing attacks all day long, and we'll go for a crunch. Let's say see you later. Give me the XP. Give me the XP. All right, let's get moving here. We'll take the XP. We'll take the catches. Look at that XP. Lovely. We catch our first AB. I actually want to head down here and get the items down here. See if any other dudes will spawn. And here's some red shards. We still haven't got any rare items yet. Oh, yo. Oh, yeah, we just caught all of them. I'm cool with that. <gasps> yo, you. You, come over here. I need Sheldon. I will kill that Drapion just for that Sheldon. Let me heal up. Let me heal up. I want that Sheldon so bad. I'm going to heal you, and I might just revive the Cleaver. Actually, no. We're thriving here. Uh, who wants to fight? Who wants to fight? Come here. All right. That's it. You know what? Can we just fight you one-on-one? -on -one? Can we just fight you one-on-one? -on -one? Please tell me I got that one-on-one. -on -one. How many Pokemon do we have here? Three. I think we're fine. You know, we're going for first Pokeball throw. We're doing it. I can't hit this thing. We're just going to try to catch this thing straight up. I want it so bad. But like I said, yo, time distortions are so tough to catch a, uh, or single out Pokemon. Catch it. God dang it. Looks like we're going to take a beat in here. Aimpom going to use Iron... Or Sheldon's going to use Iron Tail. We soak up. And these other dudes, hopefully they're just looking around. Iron defense. God dang. God dang. Dust cops looking around. Amy Palm looking around, please. Cool. I'm coming for you. Let's go, please. Pokey guys. Arceus. Let me catch this thing. Let's do it. Catch it, please. Just what I want. Now I can run from these other guys. Swift's coming out here. We are ghosts. Actually, I can just do this. I don't even have to do anything. Oh my god, our Typhosion died. <laughs> He just got ripped. I'm just going to run away. I'm not dealing with this. We'll battle some other time. There we go. Sheldon. Add him to the Pokedex. Catching a bunch of newbies, which I love. I'm looking for some rare items that just spawned over here. So here comes Drapion. Eevee's Octillery's. I kind of want to catch that Eevee. I kind of do want to catch that Eevee. But I don't want to fight all three of these guys. And there's a rare item. Another Sheldon here. That's how you know they're rare items. They don't look like the Shards. And it was Stardust. Another Sheldon. I kind of want to kill it. But I don't think I can face off with it one-on-one. -on -one. A bug war, any more rare items. We got Amy Palms, Dust Cops. So, usually in the time distortion, it's like the same Pokemon every time. So, if you realize that they're the same Pokemon and you're kind of done with picking up all the items, you can just leave. 
You can just legit walk out of the time source and be like, yo, I'm done with it. Yo! Chill on me, man. Octillery's coming after me. You know what? Let's go, Octillery. I don't know if I caught Octillery yet. I'm not sure, but I will kill it. I might have caught an Octillery, but I'm going to kill it. I want the XP. And my boy Voltorb hits like a truck. Dude, sauces. He sauces, dude. What? What's hit me? Where did you come from? Where? Yo, where are these Pokemon coming from? Get out my face. I'm running. I just want to kill the Octillery. We still got the XP. We do. Oh, yo, a Magmar. I think we already called a Magmar, but still, Magmar's cool. We did catch a Magmar. Oh, charge. Oh, a Sunstone. Oh, nice little pickup. Yo, chill on me. Chill on me. I'll bash you Legion all y'all. Magmar, make your way over here. Oh, he disappeared. He disappeared. There's another Octillery. I kind of want to catch an Eevee. Kind of want to catch an Eevee. Yeah, yeah. and Sheldon's still up here. Let's see if we can do a sneak throw on him. I hear that coming after me. Hopefully this boy doesn't see me. There's a nice little Pokeball throw. Oh, oh my lord. Nice little Pokeball throw. We kind of collected all the items already. And we called another Sheldon, which is awesome. People spawn behind me. Yeah, here's a Magmar. Magmar, I might be able to single you out. Nah, we got... Oh, don't tell me. If we got three, I'm running. Two I can take on by myself. Basically, you got speed, right? Ah, dang. God dang. But yo, time distortion zones are where it's at. We're getting a bunch of stuff. Getting a bunch of star levels. Actually, he's going to dodge that. And, you know, we're just going to drop a wing crash. We're going to say, hey, yo, get out my face. Why do we miss? What, dude? I, I got to run. I'm running. I'm not I'm not dealing with it, dude. I'm not dealing with it. We already have both these Pokemon. But, dude, what is going on today? What is going on? There has to be, like, something in the air. I'm running. I'm not dealing with these Pokemon. I'm not dealing with them. But I think that's pretty much it for our time distortion. We kind of seen every Pokemon that spawns here. Dude, using Swift. We might wait for one more batch to poke out here, but other than that, we, we did good here. Caught a few new Pokemon, got a, got a bunch of items. Double Octillery spawning. <gasps> we got heal up our Pokemon. I want it! I want a Sylveon so bad. Give me, give me my revives. Everybody heal up. We're catching a Sylveon right here, right now. Come here. Come here. Come here. We, we want all this stuff. We want a Sylveon so bad. Really, really cool Pokemon. I will heal you to max. And I'll heal you. Alright. Where's my Voltorb at? Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? No, yeah, 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 yeah. Stay here. I want to fight you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. We got this old fashioned way. Who's here? Just one Octillery. And you know what? We will switch this Octillery and just dump on it first. We're just going to dump on the Octillery first. Tell it to get out of the place. Okay, cool. The Octillery dead will take the XP, and then I want you. Sylveon, yo. Good thing. Nice little rare spawn here. Nice, lovely rare spawn. We're going to drop a nice, lovely Thunderbolt onto it and see if we can get the Paralyze on it. That could be awesome. Hopefully, we don't take it out. That's some great damage. Give me the Paralyze. So, we can hit it up again and play Ruffs and come through here. Oh, my. Oh. He's hitting like a truck. He's hitting hard, hard. Uh, go into Sligu, and I can hit this thing with a Water Pulse. Sligu. Lovely little Sligu. The water pulse action. Deal some damage to it. And we're going to catch this probably after a shot, right? I have one more we can go for. Baby doll eyes coming in. And, you know, we're just going to throw the He's dropping my offense stats, and I'm not dealing with it. We're going into the great ball. Yo, give me Sylveon. This could be such a good catch for a Pokedex. Such a good catch for a Pokedex. And then I think after this, we should be done with this time distortion. Go move on to the other areas. Let's go. Sylveon. Such a good Pokemon. Everyone's favorite. Everyone's favorite. I don't have stats for my items, so we collected a bunch of items. Any, anything else on the ground over here? Do one last look. <gasps> Jolteon! Yo, let's run it. Run it up. Let me heal up my squad. Let me heal up my Pokemon. Jolteon, dude! Every time we're about to leave. And yo, wait. Let me grab this rare item real quick. Jolteon, do not despawn. A shiny stone. We don't need a shiny stone. Okay, so let me heal up my... Uh, let me heal up my Typhoid, because we're going to be using him in this situation. And we're going to go catch that Jolteon. Where, <gasps> where's Jolteon? Oh, yo, he might be a solo. We might be able to 1v1 him here. Oh, we hit him with a back shot, dude. Yes, sir. Is that a 1v1? It is a 1v1. That's amazing. So we can get off a clean shot here. And then still be able to throw a Pokeball. So this shouldn't kill it, right? Let's go. Big turns. Big turns for jeans. Since we stunned it. Yo, dude, we catching some goodies in here, yo. I'm so glad we went to this time resource in today's video. I'm so glad we did it. We get, we're going to get a lot of points, dude. It's awesome. Catch this first try. Let's go. So, dude, all these spawn. I think all Eevee Lucian spawn in these... uh. In these time distortions, which is amazing. The time distortions will eventually end, which is really, really cool. Well, it's not cool, but like it, it, you're, you have a limited time to catch some stuff. So it should be ending soon, to be honest with you guys. 
you know, chill on me, Magmar. And there it is. It ended. So, we are, what a lovely little time distortion. What a distortion. So, what we want to do is actually head to this new area right here. But before I actually do that, I want to actually head back to the camp and heal up the squad. And, of course, we can't move because, you know, Pokemon sees us. But I got to heal up the squad. <laughs> got to heal up the squad. And you know, chill on me, man. Can I go down here? Like, I just want to leave. I just want to leave. Hey, don't die. Don't die to fall damage. Cool. And, of course, there's a Pokemon in here. I didn't even notice it until that happens. So, you know, I'm just going to run. Ah, man, dude. He sank Pokemon doing this dirty day. But, yo, like I said, we need it. We need it as much Pokemon as we can get. Let me take my deer. Uh, we can actually leave. They don't see us now, which is dope. Let's bounce out of here. Back to the Highlands camp. Heal up a Pokemon. Put some items away. All that good stuff. And then head back up to the new area and catch some more Pokemon. Oh, that's cool. So, we'll get rid of the Grit Dust. Move all at once. What else do we want to move? These shiny stones, the shards for sure. And shards are really, really good because you can uh, craft star pieces with them if you get the star piece recipe from the uh, merchant in Jubilee. And it's really, really good because you can just sell them for a lot of money. So what I like to do is always stack up on them and kind of just go from there. So there's that. We're going to sleep until morning because, you know, morning, I think it's like a better time to catch Pokemon. Nighttime, you see like the same old haunters, drift blims, all that good stuff. So when I'm trying to catch Pokemon and do other stuff, I usually like to uh, switch to morning, evening. So this is the area that we haven't explored. We're going to go down there, catch a few new Pokemon. We have to catch a Bronzong. Bronzong would be lovely. And we're going to get moving along. So let's go here. Let's get it on, dude. Bring it on, baby. And I can't believe that Alpha Rotom spawned. We can actually see if Rotom spawned over here because Rotom's nice. But I think he only spawns at night. I really do. And here's a Bronzong that we still haven't caught yet. yo. And everybody loves bananas, so we're going to give this thing a lovely banana. Oh, come on, man. I can't do it. You know, Bronzong, we'll find another one of you. I stepped off the mountain, did a little fall. Did a little fall, but where we want to go is should be right down here in this area, right? Down here and then down another layer. I think Rhydon spawned and whatnot here. Oh, there's Rhydon. How you doing, buddy? And I feel like you are such a honey, dude. Everyone loves honey. Everyone loves... Yo, come on, man. Come on, dude. <laughs> I can't do it. Chime and Cho's here. And, you know, there's tall grass. I have to get into this tall grass here. Cool. All right. We're in tall grass. Time show. I know you're hungry. Hoppa berries might be your thing. Hoppa berries might be your thing. And there goes the Voltorb towards it. I'm still going to hit this thing. Back shot right there. And I'll catch you too, Voltorb. Now you're just chilling there. Because the more Pokemon, the merrier. Time show escapes. Let me fight this thing. And, of course, Voltorb escapes too. Can Voltorb run away? Oh, he did level 55. God dang. Oh my god, dude. What is up with these Chimachos, man? Always running away. They're Alpha Rhyperior over there. We are not messing with that thing. Not one bit. I do not want to mess with it. Another Chimachos that we're going for. This time we'll get this one eating the food. So we'll do a little roll. And this is first age. Uh, I forget what that thing's called. Chingling. Chingling. That's what it's called. We'll throw this. Give me my Great Balls because these things are a pain in the neck to catch. Eat up. Yo, go. Dude, he moves so slow. He moves so slow. <laughs> Super slow. Catch, please. Yes! Little chime show action here. We'll catch that. And we're going to loop around and try to catch this chingling. This lovely little chingling. Oh, yo, another ride on. Hello, little buddy. Back shot. And if he comes back out, we're just going to smoke him with another Pokeball. Shoot, Chime Cho, dude, you don't see me. I need to catch you. Shoot, now he sees me. I'm out of here. <laughs> hey, chill on me. Chill on me. We could hop down here. Did we export? No, we didn't export down here. So let's go down here. Horsey, get down there. Not horsey, deer. Weird ear. And what is that? That's a Sneasler. And a Scyther's here, too. And I would love to catch a Sneasler. I hop down this grass. Sneezlers are cool. Better not see me. Shoot. <laughs> we just missed our Pokeball throw. I think we already caught one in the last episode. So I'll just take this one out. And there's plenty more that spawn over here. Level 55. God damn. Close combat. Thank God we're ghost type. Close combat hits too hard. This thing's fighting and poison, which is really, really cool. You know what? I'm just going to go for a flamethrower. Chunk up some damage. And I'm just going to KO this thing. I really don't want to catch it. I'll go for a strong style move after that. But we don't have to because we got the burn. He goes for close combat again. Get out my face. Get out my face, Sneasler. Sneasel. Strong style coming out here. Later. Get him out of my face. And, you know, what a solid episode today. Defeat that noble Pokemon. We still have to go back to the Commander-in-Chief. So, we're going to do that in just a little bit. Pick up these plump beans. All that good stuff. 
And I, I still gotta find. I was just about to say, we still have to find a Bronzong. You know, I'm gonna KO this one. There's a nose pants over here. I'm gonna KO this Bronzong. Or we might just catch it. I'm gonna hit it with a flamethrower, see how much damage we can do. This thing is really, really bulky. So if we don't KO it, I will throw a great ball out and try to catch it old fashioned way. Beautiful. So we'll do that. And oh, and he's burned. So we got a nice little chance to catch this thing. I'm gonna drop a hex, which is super effective on the West Ghost. Super effective Ghost for some stupid reason that I never understood. Great ball coming out here. And yo, we have so much task. Hopefully, we should be uh, really, really close to getting the next level here. Or next star rank. Beautiful. There's bronze on. And did we catch one already? Please tell me this is our first. I've been dying to get one. It's our second. Wow. Okay. I'll take that, though, because it gives us another little slot in our thing. There's that little dude. And, oh, Alpha Probo Pass playing no games. Alpha Probo Pass playing no games. And there's a cave over here. Bronze on cave. Let me go to this cave. Hello, cave. What's in this cave? Nose pass the Primaville Grotto. How you guys doing? Nose pass central over here. <laughs> we'll get this. Hey, hey, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. I want to just pick up this. Dude, I hate that. Yo, you just cling to that wall. You just cling to that wall instantly. Instantly. Let's back to our deer. Let's roll out. Onward. Hello, nose pass. How you doing? <laughs> we out of here. Let's make a hard left here and look for any new Pokemon down here. Glagar. I will catch a Glagar. They're nice. They're a nice little catch, but I'll, I'll only use my regular Pokeballs on them. Come here, dude. Come here, dude. Let me tell you something, dude. There you go. Go here. Give me this rock. And we'll get moving on to Weird here. Of course, we didn't catch that one. It's whack. Glagger. Of course, you see me, dude. Any other new Pokies over here? We got Glagger City. Dude. <gasps> Is that? Please don't tell me that's Alpha. Please don't tell me that's Alpha. That's got to be Alpha, right? No, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, right. God dang, yo. Gliscor spawning over here. This dude's doing us dirty. And of course we're being seen by Pokemon, so I cannot I cannot fast travel. And what I want to do is actually fast travel. We want to go back to Commander Chief and see how many Pokedex entries we actually got today. Because we got a lot. We did get a lot. Head over this way. See what's popping down here. Got some stones. Oh yeah, we're gonna take some fall damage there. I knew that from a mile away. Hit Paladons and we threw the wrong Pokeball out. Hit Paladons over there, and we could get some good XP by doing that. By destroying all this Paladon. Ooh yee yeah, yeah. Sneeze will help me. There's a Maggie Zone up there. Oh, dude, we just keep taking fall damage. <laughs> we just keep taking fall damage. We gotta be a Rye Horn. I kind of want to catch this hip out on. Oh, they see me. You know, I'll, I'll throw some food galore. You get a food. You get a food. You get a food. <laughs> Everybody gets a food. Eat up! Why is someone going all the way over there? Oh, Big Daddy saw me. I'll try to catch both these. <laughs> catch them both. Hey! Yo, I'll kill you. You got one chance. What did I say? Don't you dare. Don't you dare try to attack me. We'll take the XP all day. Dropping you with a strong style wave crash. It's gonna do a lot of damage to us, but we ain't playing no games here. Strong style wave crash from my Basket Legion. Look at that move. Look at that move. Oh, wait, we don't KO. Wow, dude, that recoil damage is filthy. High horsepower comes through here. Pound on. Chill on me, man. Chill on me. We'll drop the thing with a crunch, and we'll take that XP. Later, we'll take that XP elsewhere. So nice little XP here. Let's fast travel out like a lot.